Not many convicts consider themselves blessed, but this guy does, and for good reason. He's getting out way early. It's gonna be like being on borrowed time, you know, because I know that I, sh I should still be in prison because the justice system said that I should still be in prison. In 2003, Eric Smallridge of Tallahassee, Florida was found guilty of two counts DUI manslaughter. While driving at twice the legal limit for alcohol, he hit a car carrying Lisa Dixon and Megan Napier, both 20. They died instantly. He got 22 years for the crime, which sounded just about right to Renee Napier, Megan's mom. I felt like our system had served us well and justice had been served. I definitely felt that. But a few years later, a woman came forward and asked the judge to reduce Eric's sentence in half. She claimed Eric was truly sorry for what he'd done and deserved leniency, and the judge obliged, partly because of what she said, but mostly because of who she was. Do you realize what a gift you gave this guy? I do. Renee's 180 began with the single turn of a single phrase. First at sentencing and later in a letter, Renee told Eric she'd forgiven him, even though at the time she hadn't, not really. At trial, Eric had actually been pretty defensive and unapologetic. I could hate him forever. And, and the world would tell me that I have a right to do that. But it's not going to do me any good, and it's not going to do him any good. I would grow old and bitter and angry and hateful. Forgiveness is that important? If you want to heal. I think, in my opinion, forgiveness is the only way to heal. And she says it did heal her, almost as much as it healed him. It was like a burden. It was, it was a, a weight off my chest. I no longer had to hide behind this facade. Following the forgiveness, Eric apologized repeatedly and profusely in private and public to the families of both girls. Eventually, Lisa's parents forgave him too, which only inspired Eric to atone even more. Please welcome Eric Smallridge. While still in custody, Eric agreed to speak at high schools with Renee, telling kids, as only they can, the consequences of drinking and driving. Chains, shackles, lost hopes and dreams, broken dreams. They both plan to continue doing this even after Eric's release. You say, okay. I'm going to go to wherever we need to go to spread this message because I don't believe it's about us anymore. And there's going to be healing and there's going to be um, good things from here on out, you know. Yay! <laughs> this week, Eric Smallridge was released from custody into the arms of his parents. His mom, so grateful, she actually hugged the guard first. <laughs> It's a happy ending that would have never existed without forgiveness. Because of that one powerful word, tonight he is free. And so is she. Steve Hartman, On the Road, in Tallahassee, Florida.